A contract controversy. State prosecutors and a real estate brokerage firm are going back and forth over whether or not the company can continue operating in North Carolina. MV Realty is currently facing a lawsuit by the Attorney General's office accused of, tra of tricking thousands of homeowners, including in Mecklenburg County, into lengthy contracts. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joining us this morning. And Taylor, this whole thing's a mess. You know, it really is, and it, it, a lot has unfolded in the last four years. We're going to start when MV Realty first came to the state of North Carolina, and that was back in 2020. Now, this company does two things. It offers traditional real estate services and a program called the Homeowners Benefit Program, also known as HBA. Now, this is the program that is really at the center of all of this. Now, what it does was homeowners who participated in it were offered cash right up front. Now, the catch is they were agreeing to exclusively working with MV Realty for any future real estate services. Now, we are talking long term contracts as long as 40 year agreements. And in many cases, homeowners were reportedly unaware of what they were signing up for. And some, um, according to court documents, had to pay the company thousands of dollars when they sold their home, whether or not MV Realty was involved with the sale. Now, the state goes as far as saying that there were even some cases is where MV Realty put a lien on some customers' properties. And I guess the state found this was predatory? Yeah, it did. So last um, March, March 2023, the Attorney General's office actually filed um, a lawsuit against MV Realty, and these accusations were really serious. Um, the Attorney General Josh Stein says, you know, MV Realty tricked more than 2,000 North Carolinians into signing these contracts, and some of those people were right here in Mecklenburg County. So fast forward to last month, the North Carolina Real Estate Commission made the decision to ban MV Realty from operating in the state of North Carolina. Okay, so let's kind of pick it up there. What has happened since and where are we now, Taylor? Yeah, so recently, you know, there has been a lot that has gone down. So MV Realty has since filed for bankruptcy. Um, and then last week, it actually filed a petition with the state of North Carolina um, to really put to put up a fight to continue um, staying here and doing business here. So it filed a motion with the court, um, the Supreme Court of North Carolina. And, you know, I combed through this 165 page uh, court filing and there is a lot in there. But essentially, the company is saying these HBAs are valid contracts that they paid North Carolina homeowners two million dollars for them and that it needs to continue to monitor these programs. So this company, even though even though it has filed for bankruptcy, it does not want to go anywhere right now. Yeah. What was the state's response to that that big filing there? Yeah, so earlier this week, um, the Attorney General's office did file a response, um, and it went as far as saying that this company is using this bankruptcy and this previous filing to kind of overturn what has been ruled that this company can no longer do business here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's staying true to what it said in the beginning, that this company should not be working here, um, that it tricked North Carolinians, and that it it just shouldn't be doing business. But I also think it's worth to mention that, you know, North Carolina is not alone in this fight to ban this company. Um, it also, you know, 16 other states have passed laws targeting MV Realty's business practices. So this, of course, is going to the courts right now, and we will continue to keep you updated.